So this thing, when we're done with it, it goes over your ears, but then it also, how am I doing? And just think when Corona's over, we can all rob each other. The thing you want in, the thing you want in the mask is not only something that goes over your face, but something that stays close to your face. Otherwise someone can spit and it can go in here and they can just be like <laughs> right here. We don't want that. We want coverage. I guess it's, wait. <laughs> hey, long time no see, huh? Two boobs and one marriage later. Don't say that. Uh, here's the thing. Remember when like Franklin Delano Roosevelt or Mother Teresa or whoever say, uh, said um, like success or something <laughs> is when your great, uh, the, the your great joy meets the world's great need. And uh, that's what's happening today. So I woke up at about five o'clock trying to solve this thing about the, um, about the masks because I'm seeing all kinds of threads where people are trying to figure out how to go to the store to get the elastic, which is of course not what we want to do right now. Um, can you imagine? Where's the elastic? We, we don't want to do that. All these masks have a place to put a filter. I'm not smart enough to know what that is yet. Somebody suggested saran wrap. I don't think that will work. Um, a napkin, like the kind that my mother used to have on the dining table next to the stack of Roman meal bread. Probably not good enough either. A vacuum cleaner uh, bag, weird. Some other scientists will figure that part out. Uh, my thought is we make these for ourselves, for our kids, for our neighbors, for whoever. Um, we're not really trying to manufacture anything. We're trying to solve a problem. And the problem right now is people coughing on us. And so we can, if we take one t-shirt and make um, three, maybe four masks, we're so stoked. Morning. Everybody walks now. I mean, I guess everybody did before, but everybody walks now. I've exercised like three times. What? I don't even know. I talk, I walked to the top of the dunes. Tell no one. Um, I was six feet away from everyone, except for this one guy who walked past me. Rude. Anyway, okay. okay. See though, it's gonna have ear straps and then this thing that you can tighten in the back. Oh my God, it's so exciting. Okay, I'm gonna start cutting. So only a few steps. One is we make the tube like a tube top, the width of our face. Like if we could pull it over our heads, we would, but that would be embarrassing. So we make a tube top. Then we take two long strips and we put those through and then we sew another seam. Now the reason I do it in that order is so that then I don't have to like scooch it through with the safety pin. We don't want to have to have other stuff. Then we're going to tie those little strings together then we're going to scooch it. Then we're going to take another long piece and we're going to sling it through the back and tie it. Three masks, three seams each, one t-shirt. Take a t-shirt that's got love in it. Um, if you can't find a t-shirt that already has love in it, then go rub your Bible on it. <laughs> or um, kiss it. No, don't. That's Jeremy. Remember the lady on Project Runway? He used to spit on the fabric. Ew. Take the t-shirt and then make a square down from, or excuse me, a fat rectang rectangle down from just here at the top of the shirt. Leave the sleeves alone. We're going to use the sleeves for magic later, I have a feeling. And the collar. Don't mess with the collar. So let's start there. Let's just lay it down and let's start cutting. I, you might not already know this or maybe you do, but Jersey fabric has this like unbelievable magic in it where it stretchifies. So we're also going to get all of our straps out of this shirt too. Oh, this kind of thing makes me so happy. The whole goal is to have like almost nothing left. Kind of like how people back in the day used to eat a fish. <laughs> Hi honey, mom's making a video. Hi. And I'm gonna cut right below the collar. Okay, I'm looking at all this and I'm thinking it would be actually really fun to be able to make one where whatever was on your t-shirt was on your mask. So. Let's say you're making two out of the back and you're making one out of the front. So I'm going to cut this. And this might still be too big, too wide. So probably what I'm going to do is this picture is about as wide as I want. It's so wasty. I can't do it. 
Can I? Oh, it feels okay. No, it's not wasted because I'm gonna use this as straps. That's the answer. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut my picture out, and then these are gonna be my straps. Okay, here we go. And you know, really, what you want to do is you're gonna hold this thing up to your face and see if it's the width you want. This is too. It's too wide. I'm not giving up. If it's a picture of an elephant and a monkey, you might only get the monkey. Okay. Does this make this less political? Hard to know. Okay. Look, now I have four straps. Oh, this is why I couldn't do the picture. Hilaire. Okay, it actually needs to be turned this way. I'm funny. What am I doing? Oh, don't you hate it when you figure things out at 5.30 in the morning and then, you, <laughs> and then you tell everybody how to do it and you don't remember? That's so embarrassing. What did I do wrong? Oh, I know what I did. Okay. You're going to take this. You're going to turn it inside out. So in my design, you only get whatever you want, but sideways. So you're going to go like this. We're going to put this right ways in, and then we're going to sew it shut so it's a tube. You could use it as a Corona tube soft if you want. So I'm going to sew right down here. One second. Okay, so now I've got the good side in. I've got the good side in, and I'm just going to sew down this one line. I'm going to make a tube. This is our first seam, I think, isn't it? It is. One seam down the side to make the tube top. Okay, now I'm gonna get your tube top on. Not on, but okay. We're gonna do this. So now we've got a tube. I'm just gonna cut, I don't know, like, you know, like an inch-ish from your knuckle to your thumb. I'm just gonna cut a big long, just a piece the length of the rectangle we're gonna see if it turns out that i'm true that i'm right let's cut a few of these check this out oh it's this long oh it's this long because i pulled it when you pull on jersey knit fabric it gives you this wonderful long perfectly smooth unraggedy piece of string that we can then use um, for the straps cut off the piece that has um the edge on it we don't need that Okay, we've got our tube top. Now, we're gonna take two of those pieces that we cut off the side. You can see this, but I want you to see that mine's all schnoink. It's kind of wonky, so I'm just gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use what I have to make it even. So this is the shorter side, so I'm gonna fold this up, and then I'm just gonna cut it over here to make it kind of even-ish. MBD, baby. Okay, now we're back here, I'm back here. So I got two of these. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these strips and I'm gonna thread it through the tube top. I'll show you what I end up with. Oh, it's so cute. Is this what I'm doing? Yes, it is. It didn't have to be that long, actually. I gotta cut that in half. Maybe I will. Yeah, you don't even need it the length. You need it like, oh, I don't know, just do it that way and then make it different later. Okay, I'm gonna put this on both sides. Okay. So now I've got a tube top with two thingies sticking out. Let me see if I can hold it up to show you. See that? Okay, there's nothing sewn yet. We've done one seam. Nothing to be intimidated. No one will make you sew tonight. Here we go, okay. So I've got the tube tops with the stuff hanging out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew on the other side of this to make like a um, a tunnel. What am I trying to say? A little pass through, like a like the piece of a what's that? Anyway, don't sew it down. Sew it. <clears throat> Measure over from like a half inch or an inch from the side and just make it so there's a little a, a tiny tube right there. Okay, I think you know what I mean. So I'm I'm holding this up. Here's my second stitch. Oh my gosh, this would be really awesome. If it... This turns out to be what I think it might be. I think I love it when you design something accidentally with friends. Oh, you guys, it's a hoot. You gotta do what makes you happy. Okay. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh man, you guys, I mean. 
doesn't work, we'll just go back to the drawing board. So once I've sewn one of those there, I should still be able to pull this. Okay, good. We want this to be able to move. We're gonna do that on the other side. So again, we're not sewing it. You're not done, sorry. We're sewing it so it has a little road to travel. Where did I? This is what else has changed since I saw you last. This is happening. So now I'm good. I'm on. I'm gonna sew my other little side spot closed for that guy. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Now, these should bunch up. Oh my God. Oh my God, this makes me really happy. This is gonna naturally bunch. Loop these. These are actually gonna go around our ear. So tie a knot here. And what you probably wanna do is just like figure out, I mean, I don't know how big your ears are from your face, but it's okay if we're all different. So these are gonna go over our ears and then we're gonna use something else to pull back on it to, to make it fit better because the whole thing here is fit. So I'm just tying knots. Okay. Now my ear holes are the right size. I'm going to go ahead and trim them because they're bugging me. I'm just going to trim them like little rabbit ears. Okay, we got this. This is bunched. This goes around our ears. That fits great. No, it doesn't. So now what we need to do is we're going to add another piece, one of our other strips, and we're going to put it through like this. And this is what's gonna pull back on these dealies and make it tight. And we're almost a no-sew project, which is like really cool. This is in my, it's in my eye. Okay, I'm good here. I'm raveled, I'm raveled. And now I got this back here and it's pulling, it's pulling on the ear thingies. And I'm gonna tie this. If I keep the ear thing on, then even when I do the tight thing back, it won't pull it down. Because the, the thing I notice about these masks is that you make them perfect and then they fall off your nose, which missing the point. Okay, I think we did it. This was awesome. So, stay safe up there. I want to tell everybody, it's okay to have fun right now. It's totally okay. It's not bad. It's not bad to laugh while you're making a mask in a pandemic. Don't journal that, but just sit with me on it, okay? I don't want to go, but I guess I will. Okay. Bye, friend.